We want to hide our sin. We want to hide our motives. We want to hide all of these things. We want, don't want them to come to light. This is our natural bent. This is our natural tendency. So what do we do? We love the darkness <laughs> because they won't get exposed. We love hiding them, Don't, right? He's, he's going back and forth between light and darkness here, but, but the idea is that we're not going to let them be exposed. We don't want people to know our deep, dark secrets. We don't want people to know when we messed up. All right, kids, confession time. You guys ever done something and then lied to your parents about it? Not our kids, not, not any of the kids here. Have you heard of any of your friends doing this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Why? Why do we do this? It's innate. No, you, parents, did any of you teach your kids to do that? <laughs> this is us. This is the human condition. This is why we got to be very reflective of this and go, this is really who I am. And I'm a 42-year-old man, and I still do things like this, Right? I, we get a little better at it. We get a little more tactful. We get a little more, we're a little craftier with how we work our way around things. We don't outright lie. We just withhold some information. Am I right? We laugh, but this is so sorry and so sad. And this is where he, and so we love the darkness because we're like, hey, here I'm safe. We're safe in the darkness. We're safe when nobody knows. Why? Because nobody knows us. And we can hunker in the corner, and we can just hold our stuff. And, and then here's, here's the other part. We love the darkness so much. And notice his words go from belief, right, to love. This is, this is, this is a love affair. Make no, mean, no, no bones about it. Like, we love the darkness. And so what do we do if we love the darkness? We hate the light, I don't want anything to be exposed unless I've been very calculated about when and where and to whom. Sound familiar? Listen, I'm the one that has to stand up here and say these things. You guys can just, all you have to do is just go, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. So I don't feel like I'm by myself here, right? This is what we do. We, we, and we're calculated. What, we even have an expression for this, right? That we want to see things in a better light, right? We, we want to be seen in a good light, I'm going to selectively pick the things that you see. And I'm going to withhold the things that you don't see. And then you're going to think I'm a great person. Is that not where we're at? And this is what he's walking through here. He goes, you guys get this, right? He's like, you, you understand, Nicodemus, where you're really at. And so you, you love the darkness, you hate the light. And so then what happens? When the light bursts forth, what did, what did John say at the beginning in John chapter 1, right? The light has come, it's cast out darkness. Light came into the world. And what do we do? We book it for the hills. What did Adam and Eve do? When God came to be in their presence, they went and hid. This